I bet that most people don't know that cigarette smoke is a dose of radiation every time you breathe it or are around it, and especially those who smoke. Now, I don't care if somebody wants to destroy their health as long as I'm not paying for it mentally or physically, which means I don't want to have to pay for it through their health problems, and I don't want to have to pay for it through breathing it in public. And there's nothing that makes me more angry than somebody smoking in public, especially when I'm walking down a sidewalk and the asshole in front of me is smoking and it's blowing in my face. And the only thing I can do is hold my breath and run ahead of them. And I, that's what I do. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but I have to because I can't stand cigarette smoke. It makes my throat sore. It gives me rashes. It gives me headaches. I can't, I'm allergic. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm highly sensitive to cigarette smoke and it's only getting worse. There's just so many people here and in Australia that smoke in public, and it's really, really getting on my nerves. Um, you know, it, it makes me so angry, and I've often wished that every for every time, every time a cigarette smoker, um, you know, vandalize or you know, um, vandalize or, or or trespasses on me with their smoke, I, I wish that I could just spray this asshole, these assholes with Lysol or something right in their face. However, that would be considered a, a, an assault. However, they're, insult, they're the ones who are assaulting me, yet they're allowed to, yet I can't assault them back. So what I do now is when somebody is smoking and it's blowing in my face, what I do is I walk up to them and I fart as loud as I can and, you know, the point is not so much that they smell the fart, but that they hear it. And that's what I'm doing. Now, now I'm to a point where when I have to fart, I'll actually hold it in until I find someone who's smoking. And I'll walk up to them and I'll just fart as loud as I can because that's all I can do. Now, if everybody did this, maybe it would send these assholes a, a clear message that what they're doing is wrong. Now, if they want to smoke, fine. Create some kind of indoor room where they can all go and smoke themselves to death. I wish that every person who smoked would just drop dead, but no, they're like suicide bombers. They have to go around and do it over and over and over again and not only destroy their health, but they destroy people's health that live or that are around them a lot. And the thing, the problem is here in Australia is it's not that I'm living with a smoker or anything like that, but it's just that every single day when I have to go out and I have to go to the store and I have to go eat, I'm exposed to smoke every single time. You know, it's not just once in a while, it's every time. And I'm just so sick of these smokers. I just wish they would all just drop dead. I just, I can't stand it anymore. Last night, I actually had this, quit my job at this uh, brothel that I was working at because this really sick, fat, stupid cunt that works there was smoking uh, inside and she wasn't supposed to and she was anyway. And the cigarette smoke was just going all throughout the whole building. The ventilation there was horrible and it was just going in every room and I couldn't escape it. And I was there, stuck there for eight hours breathing cigarette smoke, and by the time my eight-hour shift was up, my head was hurting, my throat was hurting, I had a rash on my ear, which I never, ever get, and it was just a nightmare, and I'll never go back to that brothel and work again. Not that I really would do, do care, because it wasn't really a good one to work at anyway. There was no customers there, and I don't blame them. I mean, can you imagine, why would a customer want to go into a building that reeks of poisonous cigarette, toxic cigarette, you know, smoke. And I can't even think, it's like, the, the lang, I can't even think of the, the correct language because the problem is people's brains have normalized the word cigarette and smoke and they think it's all just, you know, okay. And it's not, it should not be okay. It should not even be acceptable. When you hear the word cigarette and smoke, it should send up huge alarm signals and people should realize how bad it is and how it should not be acceptable, especially in public. These people, they should just be put out of their misery. Um, you know, they really should. I mean, why, why let them just kill themselves slowly? Why, why not just, you know, get it over quickly um, instead of affecting people who don't want to be affected by it physically or mentally or emotionally or any other way. And yet every day I'm affected by it. Um, 
So now I look at these people in just total anger and disgust, and I just walk up to them and I fart as loud as I can. That's all I can do, because if I spray them with Lysol, then they'd sue me, but yet I can't sue them. And they're spraying me every day with their radiation smoke. And it's actually worse than Chernobyl, being around cigarette smoke, that is. So that's my rant for the day. And if you're a smoker, why don't you lock yourself in a closet and just have at it? Instead of affecting everybody else that doesn't want to be affected by it. You guys are sick. Beyond words. Beyond the normalization of the word. You are sick.